Hello everyone, this video I will show you how to send notification by email from the Home Assistant. Uh, this is power distribution box made, made by the K868 server that have Raspberry Pi inside. We have installed the Home Assistant on this box. And the whole system is managed by the Home Assistant. The Home Assistant work in local network because of the security program. So uh, using locally, all data is saved in the locally is better. But if you network have the internet, so you can send the notification by the email uh, for the internet. This video, I will show you how to configure the Home Assistant, uh, send a notification by email. And also you can use this sensor like Zigbee sensor or many input sensor that have Trigo for send a message from the email. So that will be used for some sensors, smoking sensor, motion sensor, or PR sensor, or door sensor. When somebody coming and your door open and close, will send an email to your mobile phone or to your PC. Okay, let's begin. And you can see here is our dashboard home assistant and the output input and the temperature sensor and the Xiaomi Zigbee sensor and the air condition. Now the first we will add the Google Gmail the service on to Home Assistant and I will show you how to use a Zigbee sensor that Trigo send an email. And the first we look at the Home Assistant official website that we will use is SMTP. The plan for SMTP mainly for send the email. So you can see here is the example YAML file code for the Gmail. So special email provide configure used by Google Gmail. So you can just, uh, we can copy and paste uh, to our Home Assistant YAML file. And at the last, I have copied. And you just need to replace a uh, sound like this, a uh, name, the service name is Gmail. And this is not needed to change, just as default, as default, as default. And this send is use your message, email message. Uh, this is my email address. You can replace by yourself. And this not change. And this username is your email username. And this password is your email password. But the Google password that you need to encrypt uh, the Google password. You can see here the application special password. So later I will tell you how to use this password. And this receptor, that is sent to where? You want to send the email to which or which people or which email address? Uh, you can add to many. If you have want the message sent to email one and email two and email three, so you can just add many email address so that notification will send to three people and if this like this one deleted that will send to two people two different people you can change the different email address and now i just test so i send only to myself and this is send, send name just is uh, renamed by yourself uh, this i have renamed uh, from by the home assistant Okay, so you need, just need to config, confirm this is the password. And the other options is very easy to set. And the password we look at here, you can see, here just click, uh, you need to application special password, click. And we'll go to the Google Plan for. And go to this web page, you just go to your Google account console. And click uh, security. And here you can see the application password now is no create. So you need to create a password, it's very easy. Click and log in with your Google account. And next. Okay, now you can select your application. We need to use the mail and select your device because I use my Windows PC. If you have used Apple Mac, you can choose this one. I use Windows. So you can click generate. Okay, uh, this is the application password that have generated. 
So you just copy, we can save in my notepad. And done. And now you can go to the configuration that you can replace this one password. This password you can replace. Okay, now is config complete. It's very easy. You just click save and configuration and we need to restart the home assistant restart okay okay the home assistant restart then you can test uh, whether your email work fine email service we can click development tool and this is a service and now you can see you can input not fine And you will see there is the Gmail notify.gmail service have generated. So you can click this one. And you can test it, the message uh, you can input, uh, like sensor is triggered. And the title, uh, you can just test. Uh, this is a test message. And uh, the target. Uh, where you send the message to, so I can input my email name. You just uh, replace with your email address uh, where you send. And we can call service, click. I click. Now I can go to my Gmail inbox. Uh, you can see the first email. This is a test message. And the content uh, is sent, is triggered. So this message is sent successfully. So this is the home assistant, is the name, and this is the content, and this is the title. So you can see, it has a set, set, set. Okay, now the email service is created successfully. Now you want to use this Xiaomi ZigBee sensor, or any ZigBee sensor, or any wired sensor. Just let the input and the trigger, the sound temperature sensor, or some other sensors, uh, try to send a message. We will look at, go to the configuration and the home automation. So you can go to here, click automation. You can see we have created uh, the automation before. Now we can just insert the email address notification action to the uh, automation. This is the one click we have created. You can see I can, one click is for all, and the one click is for off. So this is for all of from this ZigBee sensor. But I want to press this sensor. Maybe the sensor is triggered. I want to send a message. So we can just edit. And here is the action. This action is triggered, the talking, the release rate. But I want to add an action. You can click this one. And this call service. The service name, you can input notify. Notify.gmail. Okay, now you can send the message, just input by yourself. Maybe ZigBee sensor is triangle. And the title, allow message for ZigBee, this just uh, you can replace by yourself. And this target, uh, I send to my email address, input this my email address, you can send by yourself. And we just click save. Okay, now we can go to back, and this is my inbox. And now I can click on this show me ZigBee sensor, I can click. And you can see he has received an email message. That is a long message for ZigBee. And we click, uh, this is ZigBee sensor is triggered. So this is how to uh, use a email notification from the sensor and created by the home assistant. It's very easy. Okay, thanks for watching.